Which one is better, Raspberry Pi 4 or Orange Pi 5? By the end of this video, you will be able to tell by yourself. Stay tuned. Today, we are comparing two of the most popular single board computers in the world, the Raspberry Pi 4 and the Orange Pi 5. We will conduct a comprehensive analysis of both devices, examining their specs and performance, features and pricing, and more. Each of the competitors has its own advantages, so which one will come on top? Welcome! So why these two? Raspberry 4 is the most widespread popular SBC in the world, while its successor, the Raspberry Pi 5, is still rolling very slowly out of the production lines, still leaving shop shelves empty in many countries. And Orange Pi 5 is one of the most popular, if not the most popular, competitor of the Raspberry Pi. Let's start with the easy part, by comparing the hardware of the two devices. This round can't be biased in any way, it's just pure numbers and facts. CPU. The Orange Pi 5 is powered by an octa-core Rockchip RK3588S SoC, while the Raspberry Pi 4 is powered by an quad-core Broadcom BCM2711 SoC. I've benchmarked both of these chips, and as a rule of thumb, the Orange Pi 5's chip is significantly faster than the Raspberry's Broadcom in both single-core and multi-core performance. It's even more apparent in multi-core performance, where it's two times faster. RAM. The Orange Pi 5 also has more RAM options. With up to 32GB of LPDDR4 RAM available, it beats Raspberry Pi 4, which has up to 8GB of LPDDR4 RAM. Orange Pi 5 wins, as it can have up to 4 times more RAM. GPU. In both cases, the GPU is part of the SOC, the system on chip. One chip covers both CPU and GPU calculations. The Orange Pi 5 has a Mali G610 MP4 GPU, while Raspberry Pi 4 has Video Core 6 GPU. Raspberry's GPU is capable of handling 4K video playback. Orange Pi's Mali G610 is capable of handling 8K, is more powerful and can handle games and also other graphics intensive tasks better. Storage. In terms of storage, the Orange Pi 5 has a micro SD card slot and an M2 NVMe slot while the Raspberry Pi 4 has only a microSD card slot. As the SD cards are prone to failures and have a limited lifespan, I consider the M2 NVMe slot to be a major score point for Orange Pi 5. You can use an external USB attached drive for both devices, but I don't want to consider this here, as it's not part of the device, it's something you need to add to both of them. But it could solve the storage issue for both. Networking. Both of them have 1 gigabit Ethernet port, but Raspberry Pi also has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Granted, you can buy Orange Pi 5B version that has the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capability, but that's a different device. The 5B version has this as a trade-off for the M2 NVMe slot of the original 5 without the B version. Peripherals. Well, this one is hard. Both of them have USB 3 and USB 2 ports. Raspberry has one more USB 2 port. On the other hand, the Orange got USB-C. Both of them have an audio jack. Orange Pi has one full-sized HDMI output, while Raspberry Pi has two micro HDMI ports. Raspberry has 40-pin GPIO header, while Orange has only 26 pins. Both of them have MIPI CSI and DSI for connecting displays and cameras. It's hard to choose a winner here. I'd say it's a tie on the peripherals. Availability. As Raspberry is still recovering from the shortage and Orange Pi has been available for a long time, I would say this is a no-brainer. Orange Pi wins the availability. That's all regarding the hardware for both of SBCs. Let's count the score after the first round. How do we stand? Orange Pi won CPU, RAM, GPU, storage and availability. Raspberry won networking and they both scored a point in peripherals. So Orange Pi scores 6 points and Raspberry Pi 2 points. It seems that Orange Pi 5 won this round, but that doesn't mean the fight is over. Raspberry still has a few aces up its sleeve. It needs to be considered that Orange Pi is younger, thus the advancements in technology contributed to its pure performance superiority. The first Raspberry Pi 4 was released in mid-2019, while the Orange Pi 5 was released in late 2022, so it's more than 3 years younger considering that three years in computers is like 30 years for people, this wasn't a fair fight. 
Can Raspberry recover from this brutal first round? What do you think? Operating systems. Both the Orange Pi 5 and Raspberry Pi 4 are compatible with a wide range of operating systems based on Linux and Android. With more or less effort, you can even run Windows on both. Even though I wouldn't recommend using it this way, uh, it's good to know it's possible. More to that, Raspberry Pi with related Raspberry Pi Imager software is much more versatile and easy to use when it comes to other more specific OSs, like OSs for 3D printing, media center, home automation, and many, many more. Orange Pi can achieve many of those things too, but it's simply not as easy and convenient as on Raspberry Pi. Support. As Raspberry Pi has been around for a much longer time than Orange Pi, a larger community supports it. This means it's much easier to find tutorials, how-tos, and a lot of code and libraries for Raspberry than for Orange Pi. This is slowly changing as the Orange Pi is getting traction, but for now it's still a major point for Raspberry. It undoubtedly has a larger community and a lot of work has been done specifically with Raspberry Pi in mind. Also, the whole software ecosystem around Raspberry is much more mature and user-friendly. So if you're a newbie or just getting into the SBC world, I would recommend looking into Raspberry first. Your life will be simply easier that way. Software Round wins Raspberry. It's mainly because it's been around for a much longer time and thus this Hollywood star of SBCs has a larger fan base. Price. Well, by design, the Raspberry Pi 4 should be cheaper than the Orange Pi 5. And the set price tag says the same thing. But for at least the last two years, the price of raspberries went through the roof because of a long-term general worldwide shortage and scalpers doing their thing. For the last two years, the prices were at least double the original set prices. So the reality is that the Orange Pi 5 was cheaper than the Raspberry Pi 4 for a long time. But with the release of Raspberry Pi 5, the prices went somewhat back to where they should be for both 4 and 5 models, meaning that Raspberry Pi is again slightly cheaper than Orange. Frankly said, I'm kinda reluctant to do this, but it's fair to give the point to Raspberry today. If this video brings value to you, please consider supporting me by using those cursed buttons below the video. Thank you. Conclusion. So, what's the score at the end? 6 points for CPU, GPU, RAM, storage, peripherals and availability go to Orange Pi. And 5 points for networking, peripherals, operating systems, support and price goes to Raspberry Pi, making the Orange Pi 5 a close winner of this contest. So, which one should you buy? If you're looking for a more powerful SBC, then the Orange Pi 5 is a no-brainer for you. However, if the performance only bothers you a little and you need a device with more major software, a larger community and support, and a beginner-friendly approach, then the Raspberry Pi 4 is the better choice for you. Last thing that needs to be said. Raspberry Pi finally released the new Model 5 version. It's slowly coming to markets around the world, so you might want to check that one out too. Little spoiler here, it's still not as fast as the Orange Pi 5 purely by performance numbers. But if you want a deeper dive on it, check out this review video I have made about it. Let me know which other SBCs you would like to see battling for a champion's belt. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it did, please consider subscribing to my channel and share this video with people who might be interested in it. See you next time. Bye.